Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel CodeLogic. So in this series we are starting to develop the hospital management system using Angular and Firebase. So in this video we are going to set up the environment. So watch the video till the end. And if you are new here then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first thing first, uh, here we are going to create the Angular application. For that uh, we have opened the terminal here. And now here uh, we are going to use the command ng new and we'll add a name hospital management for our project. We'll hit enter and it will ask some questions. Uh, do you like to add the routing? So uh, I'll prefer yes and then we are using CSS. Okay. So meanwhile uh, it's installing. We'll go to the Firebase. We'll set up account there. So search for the Firebase on Google, you will get the first link. Okay, then go to the console. Here uh, we need to create one project. So for that uh, we'll click on that button. Uh, we add name hospital management. Okay, continue. We are not going to use uh, any analytics tools now. So without using that we are going ahead to create the project okay so our project is ready now uh, we'll go inside our project so here uh, you can see we have to uh, add a web app so for that uh, we'll go inside uh, this section web so here first we'll add name of our web app that is hospital management Also, we are going to set up the hosting. Okay, so create a new site. I'll add the name here hospital management, code logic hospital management. Hyphen A. Okay, and then uh, will register the app so you can see we are getting some details here okay so uh, these are the uh, firebase config details which we are going to need it next okay so we'll go forward so these are the details for hosting our website on Firebase. Okay. We'll go forward, continue with the console. Now here uh, we are going to use the Firestore as a database. So we'll click on the Cloud Firestore and here uh, create database. Okay. So uh, initially we are using it in test mode. So there is a production mode also, but uh, we are using it in test mode. So click next. I'll choose location as a uh, Asia Northeast. Then enable. It will create our database. Okay. So uh, there is a rules section also. You can change the rules. So you can see here uh, if request time is less than first of November, then it's allowed. Otherwise, it's not allowed. So you can change it in time. So this is our uh, database. Okay, here uh, all the data will be stored. So uh, we have completed with the creation of Angular application. Now we'll go inside our application and open the application in VS Code. Now we have open terminal here. So we go with the angular material. So we are using angular material in this project. So first uh, we'll go to the angular material site and get started. So here uh, you can see there is a command ng add angular material. 
we need to copy it and we need to paste it in our terminal okay so it will install the angular material packages in our project it takes time depending upon the speed of internet okay i'll go with the indigo pink color so if you want custom theme you can choose custom also then uh, we'll go with the default options okay so angular material is in our project now now we need to use the firebase so for that we'll use npm install firebase angular fire save it's installed now so we'll clear the screen and close the terminal now uh, we'll go inside our src inside which app sorry environment and we'll open the environment production and environment ts files and here uh, we are going to paste the code of our firebase application so we'll go inside the setting project setting and uh, you go down so here uh, you will find your project and uh, you can check it out there is a firebase config there okay so i have uh, blurred the code so copy that code and paste it in uh, your both the files environment production and environment.ts file okay Now close both the files now go inside app module.ts file here uh, we need to inject the firebase module so for that first we'll import the import it from angular fire compact angular fire module and we'll import it in imports array and we'll initialize it with the environment dot firebase config now uh, we'll use firestore module so for that uh, we'll use the angular fire compact firestore and angular firestore module and we'll inject that in import array okay so now uh, we'll close this app module.ts file and we'll create a separate module for materials so to create the module we'll use command nggm material slash material so you can see inside a uh, application folder there is a material folder and inside which material module.ts file is created okay so now uh, we need to inject this in our app module.ts file before that we'll create one export array we'll go inside app module.ts file and here uh, we'll import that material module okay so we don't need this common module so we'll remove it from here and uh, in the end uh, we are going to use the bootstrap for CSS so we'll go inside our browser and search for the bootstrap we'll go to the documentation and we'll copy here the links this is a CSS link 
and we'll paste it inside the head section and we'll copy the script link we have pasted it inside a body section in the end okay now we'll open the app component.html file and we'll remove everything except last line so that is router outlet okay so yeah that's it for the video our setup is done here thanks for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye